Hi, my name is Lorraine Francis. Welcome to Communications Leadership. In this series, I'm going to give you some useful tips that's going to help you to build your internal and external communications programs. Today, we're going to talk about communications planning. And I have a great communications planning process that I want to share with you. It's a four-phase process, and in the first phase, we have what's called assessment and discovery. Second phase is strategic planning, program execution, and optimization and analysis. Let me walk you briefly through the four phases. In phase one, in assessment and discovery, uh, you have to make sure that you're setting goals. Uh, these goals have to be realistic, they have to be measurable, they have to be attainable, and they really should involve everyone in the organization that has a stake in this. This is, this is what's going to really motivate your team to achieve their objectives. Now, as you look at the assessment and discovery phase, this is the part where you're really going to be gathering intelligence from across the enterprise. Make sure that this is a collaborative process, that you're engaging with different parts of the organization that can supply information to help you develop the real value proposition for your business. So look at global trends. Look at regional trends. Look at what's going on nationally in your, in your space. Now you may say, you know what, we're not a global organization. But you still can learn from what's going on in the global space. And all of these factors here is going to continue to help you to build your, your process. And the clue to success really is in the process. Take a look at who your competitors are. Do a SWOT analysis. SWOT stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And when you're looking at the organization, you really want to find out what are the strengths that the business has. You know, what type of products and services are really going to bring value for your customers? What are the opportunities that are out there? And what are some of the threats that you'll have to address as you move forward? Media analysis, another crucial part of the assessment process, because Today, we have social media, and there is so much going on in social media, whether it's Twitter or Facebook or whichever social media platform uh, that your business is engaged in. Make sure that you find out what customers are saying about your business. Also, your organization may have already done some sort of primary uh, or secondary research. Gather the data from across the enterprise, and that will allow you to make uh, some decisions when it comes to uh, putting together benefits and a real value proposition for the customers. In the strategic planning phase, this allows you to start looking at the various business segments, whether it's the business-to-business -business, uh, segment, whether you're in the B2B space or B2C space. Uh, take a look at your markets. Uh, really focus in on who your target audiences are, whether you're looking at Generation X, the Millennials, or whether you're looking at a more senior audience or, or, or a younger audience. This is the, the part of the process that really begins to narrow the focus on the markets and on your type of customers. In the third phase, you're looking at uh, moving into the program execution phase. Now here, you really begin to start thinking about what is our market strategy? What's our strategy to go to market? And from, from looking at the, the strategic uh, marketing uh, plan, you're able to now think about what are the tactics that we need to have in place in order to achieve our strategic goal. So the tactical plan could include a number of things, and obviously we don't have time to go through every single one of them, but some of the things that it could include is mobile, for example. That's an emerging a part of the communications uh, field. And you can use mobile, you can use uh, uh, public relations, uh, events, uh, also uh, advertising, and content. Content is king, as we say in the business, so this, your strategic uh, content developers need to be a part of this process as well. You'll also need to look at adding some metrics here. 
you know, KPIs, what are the key performance indicators that need to be here in the process so that you can continue to measure how successful the program is going to be. So once you have all of your tactics laid out and you've put a budget behind that so you know what your investment is going to be, um, you can also make sure that you're optimizing and analyzing each one of these programs as you launch them. So in the, in the uh, program implementation phase, make sure that you constantly check back. This is a cyclical uh, program. So you're going to go through and look that, to make sure that you're still achieving the organization's goals and adjusting your program as you move forward. So that's a brief view of the uh, communications planning process. I hope you find this useful. If you do find it useful, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment as well. And I look forward to seeing you back here next time for some more useful communications tips. Thank you for checking in. See you next time.